Hey guys, are you looking forward to develop into tech? The tech space is dynamic and it's constantly growing. Well, there are some tech skills that you can learn and develop yourself. There are top five skills in IT you need to know. One is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is the practice of protecting systems, networks, and programs from digital attacks. There are four types of security threats. Uh, first is phishing, second is social engineering, the third one is ransomware, and the fourth one is malware. Um, also, there are key components of cybersecurity role that you can develop yourself. The first is in cloud security. The second one is in application security. The third one is network security. And the last one is endpoint security. The second IT skill you can develop yourself is in software development. There's the process of planning, building, testing, and maintaining various software's application is known as software development. In this field, you can develop yourself in below one's proficiency in programming languages, e.g. Java, JavaScript. Second is Agile and Scrum methodologies. The third one is full stack development, which is the front end and the back end. The fourth one is what I like also mobile app development for iOS and Android. So the third skills you need to know is cloud computing. Cloud computing is a model for delivering computing resources over the internet enabling users to access and use hardware, software, and services on demand without needing to, you know, to own or manage physical infrastructure. There are three uh, types of cloud computing to know. The first is public cloud, second is private cloud, and the third is hybrid cloud. Also, there are three major types of cloud services you can develop yourself and also need to know is, is an infrastructure as a service, which is IAS. IAS provides virtualized computing um, resources over the internet. The second one is platform as a service, which is BAS. This refers to uh, a cloud computing service that supply on demand environment for developing, testing, delivery, and managing software application. The third one is software as a service, also known as SAS. SAS is a method for delivering software applications over the internet on demand and typical on subscription basis. So the fourth IT skills you need to know is the user experience, which is the UX and the user interface UI design. User interface UI and user experience UX are two words that you might have heard or may, you might have heard frequently in tech circles, and sometimes you might have heard them interchangeably. But what you know, but what do the terms actually mean, and what does it mean to be a UX or UI design? UI refers to the screens, button, toggles, icons, and other visual elements that you interact with when using a website, app, or electronic devices. UX refers to the entire interaction you have with a product, including how you feel about the interaction. You can choose any of these below to develop yourself. One is in UX research and testing. Second one you can develop yourself in is UI design tools, e.g. Sketch, Figma, Adobe XD. Third, you can develop yourself in prototyping and wireframing. Kids IT skills you can develop yourself in is in data science and data analytics. Data analytics is the process of examining, cleaning, transforming, and modeling data to discover useful information, draw conclusion, and support decision making. You can choose um, any of below branches of data analytics to develop yourself. First is data visualization and reporting. Second is machine learning and AI. The third is big data technologies, e.g. using Hadoop or Spark. The last one is statistical analysis and data mining. So guys, let me know which of this is your most preferred. Um, I hope you've been able to learn something new on this channel. Thank you so much again for tuning to my channel and I do appreciate you. Please feel free to drop your comments or questions below and I'll get back. Lastly, kindly please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with your friends and families. And so YouTube can also recommend these uh, video to other people. Thanks for watching and bye for now. See you in the next episode.